Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against the house. Yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. I'm sure you all are aware that in 2009, we almost lost Grayson. And back during that time, uh, one of the main things that Robin and I prayed for was that there'd be a day like today. Grayson, I'll never forget the faith you displayed during that health crisis. You were willing to place the outcome in God's hands no matter what. I'd like to challenge you guys to build your marriage on that same type of faith, because that's the kind of faith that heals hearts. It's the kind of faith that moves mountains. It's the kind of faith that God uses to do miracles. I always say that Grayson is God's grace to me in the form of a friend, and I'm sure that all of you could agree. Her life is a gift. Her life makes life better, and her life has changed my life forever. Jacob loves the Lord, and I can tell that how he loves the Lord is the root in how he loves Grayson. I have no doubt in my mind that Jacob will be the best husband to Grayson, and Grayson will be the best wife to Jacob. I cannot be more proud and honored to know both of you. God is just so good. I love you guys. Jacob, I've been praying for you for years, long before I even knew who you were, even before I knew your name. Since Grayson was a little baby, I've been praying for you. I've been praying for her safety and her salvation, that she would find a godly spouse. And I could not ask for more. I charge you both, as you stand in God's presence, to build your marriage on the firm foundation of faith. Be filled with peace and joy, that the home you are establishing today will endure through every season, and that together you may experience the fullness of God. here today to celebrate the joining of Grayson and Jacob in this holy matrimony of marriage that God instituted. God, we pray that you will be their provider, that you will be their protector. We want to bring you praise in the joining of these two, and we celebrate that with our family, with our friends. In Jesus' name, amen. In the name of Jesus, I, Jacob, take you, Grayson to be my wife. I, Grayson, take you, Jacob, to be my husband. To have in the hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish for as long as we both shall live. By the authority invested me by the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You can kiss her now. my privilege to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jacob Harrison. Without further ado, folks, please turn your attention to the side door and please welcome in 
your prize money. If you could please do us a big favor and welcome in the fellas tonight, please welcome in the program. Mm -hmm. spent quite a lot of time with Jacob and I really can't believe that he's found someone who matches his personality so well. Uh, I can't ask for a better woman to marry my brother. You're amazing. I mean y'all just do love in such an incredible way. I'm so glad to know that she's gonna be with somebody that'll take care of her for the rest of her life. And I just love y'all so much. I'm excited for the future and I hope y'all have an incredible day. I love y'all. Watching you like a movie scene It's better 